Finally, the Splendor Solace is available to the general public. Um, this was previously only really available through exclusive, uh, extremely expensive collector's editions. And now Watkins Publishing have made it available as a mass market, um, very nice hardcover book. It's um, uh, the regular price, I believe, is about £25, but it's available for significantly cheaper than that uh, through Amazon at the moment, at least. Uh, the um, contributors uh, who have been uh, asked to, uh, yeah, to, to write some introductions uh, to this book are very well known and very well respected. Now, just a note that uh, of the 170 odd pages uh, of this book, only about 50, those dark coloured ones, are the actual Splendor Solace. It's only really um, a, a, a few pages long. And, um, uh, and as you can see, uh, Stephen Skinner has written extensive commentaries for each of the plates. I'll show you those a little bit more in a few moments. First of all, I'd like to show you um, the, well, the end papers. Okay. Secondly, for those of you who would like to know, it is Smith's own. You can, you can actually see the stitching there. The pages are very nice and thick. They feel very, um, very sturdy, very um, uh, solid, and um, and they don't feel like they're going to wear out anytime soon. Stephen Skinner offers a short introduction, um, pointing out that uh, the art of um, alchemy really was originally um, the art of attempting to transmute base metals into noble metals. Uh, it's only later, once um, a few people had failed, <laughs> that uh, the uh, the art became um, more used for spiritual practices. Okay, next Raphael Prink um, writes about the probable authorship of Splendor Solace. He talks about um, uh, what was previously um, assumed about the authorship and he has uh, certain ideas about um, why that's probably incorrect. It goes into quite a lot of detail with a very large bibliography so if, actually, if that's what you're interested in um, I certainly recommend a read. Then you have uh, Georgiana Hedesan who writes about the, um, the, the Paracelsian um, attributes of the text or rather how the Paracelsian movement was um, was uh, um, associated with the Splendor Solace and then you have uh, the uh, the Splendor Solace so um, Stephen Skinner as I said has written some um, some commentaries and some very interesting notes however these pages are a dark, very, very dark grey, and so they are uh, magnets for fingerprints, unfortunately, which is why I'm using this piece of paper to turn the page uh, and to hold them down. Um, let me give you a quick look of what you're really waiting for here. The plates are full page. Forgive my slightly shaky hand.
So yeah, from, from what I've read, the, um, the Splendor Solace is um, the result of um, trying to democratize um, alchemy in a world where people's literary uh, or literacy skills may not be um, uh, the best. Um, people would make up poems, for example, to uh, to memorize the um, the process of creating the philosopher's stone. Um, so that was one technique for for trying to yeah to memorize the technique. Um, and then the other way was to make images, make pictures. Now, of course, I won't show you all of the pictures. Um, this uh, alchemical alchemical font or fountain is um, it's a very well known picture. I'll be uh, reviewing Gabrielle McCowrie's um, Aurora very very soon, and uh, the. The, uh, the end papers in there pick up that design. Yeah, the reproduction of the images is as good as you could hope for. It's it's really, really just absolutely beautiful. Come on, focus. No, nope. doesn't want to focus. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, so there's about um, yes. I think there's a there are about twenty, twenty two, twenty two plates. I think it is. Uh, and then there is a translation of the Harley manuscript. Followed by a glossary. An index. So the glossary and the index. Here we go. Okay. So I hope you like the review. Um, certainly, check out the uh, 
uh, this particular edition it's it's definitely worth picking up it's uh, it's really very inexpensive for what you're getting um, it's a beautiful beautiful edition thank you very much Watkins Publishing for making this available and that's all for me for today uh, don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you liked what you saw and uh, uh, subscribe if you haven't already I'd be very grateful to you uh, thanks ever so much and see you soon bye